It's Saturday. Okay, y'all may be like, what is going on with your hair? Or maybe you are not like that. I got it, I got layers and like it died yesterday. So I'm gonna fix it tonight. It look cute, I wish I would've vlogged yesterday. I vlogged me at the salon for like two seconds and then I gave up cause I don't know, <laughs> I just did. Anyways, we got these little curtain bangs to add volume. Um, and then we cut like four inches off. We were gonna cut two inches off, but you know how that goes. Honestly, I need it to because like the ends were a little raspy. So and dry, so it was like down to here probably. And we like cut it up to here. But um, I think it looks better and now it's gonna grow out and look fantastic. But I spent five hours at the salon yesterday getting this shit done. Mommy, what are you doing? You guys, he screams whenever I'm in here because he wants me to hold him. Look, he's rubbing on me right here. Come here. This is what he wants. It's like having a child. I believe he just wants me to hold him like this. Now he's purring. You are such a bad boy. Today I'm going to clean up my house. You guys always say we like cleaning vlogs, which I love that feedback. So I figured I would vlog me cleaning. And then I'm going out tonight. It's Saturday night. Ty is out of town doing his thing. So I'm going out with some of my friends. And uh, we're going out in Hollywood. Oh. I really enjoyed the past few days having the house to myself and just, I don't know, living life. Me and Ty are together so much because we work together, we live together, we're always together. So it's nice to miss the ones you love the most. He wants me to walk around and hold him like this all day. He's so heavy. You were such a big boy. But anyways, let's clean my house and then I'll show you my hair fix tonight so you can see the vibes. He's in that right handsome. My house isn't even like crazy messy. It's just messy. So let's get started. I'm trying Zazzle for my allergies because y'all recommended it to me, as did Manny. You know what y'all also told me? I probably just need to go see an allergist and get an allergy shot every year. You know what, I might do that next year. Some days are just like the worst allergy days of my life, no matter what medicine I take. And then some days the medicine helps me and I'm good to go. Clean my countertops what i like to do is dry clean it first by wiping all the crumbs off with an, this dry just like wipe all the crumbs before we wet it you don't want to melt the crumbs into the counter you know what i mean with the spray you want to get all these crumbs always clean your floors last in case you drop crumbs as you're cleaning off your counters and dust and all the stuff ends up on the floor so do your floors last so my mom always taught me i want to show you all the crumbs in the trash. And then we're gonna clean it now that all the loose debris is gone. All the loose debris. 
I've showed y'all this like a hundred times, but this is what I use to clean the counters. What are you doing? You're not about to be up there. Get down. He's only up here because I took everything off, so it's new to him. He's like, ooh. looking clean this is his spot he loves this chair voila we got some flowers from trader joe's that i got for my charcuterie board look at this clean kitchen i'm gonna put those dishes away i think i'm gonna clean my stove on tiktok i know that sounds random but it's nasty so i think i'm gonna do that separately for the vlog i gotta split content nowadays guys <laughs> these tables are up front in my house they're thing collectors we literally put anything and everything on these tables as soon as we walk in the house so they're always filled with just random stuff that needs to be put away so that's what i'm about to do i love these tables i literally don't know what i would do without them because i'm so guilty of just like throwing random stuff on them and everybody else's too but y'all if they were gone i probably would put stuff away but i'm not gonna do that because i love having them that's our from amazon i if you didn't see my amazon video i posted honey they're all up in there with the link with the bat link okay let me get started i'm trying to set this up boom 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 so much better and my bedroom was low-key kind of clean so that's all the cleaning we're gonna do today but i'm about to chill it's saturday i'm gonna relax until i have to get ready to go out tonight let's get ready for dinner so i have my hair in these rollers just trying to add a little volume back in it we are now on second day hair i'm gonna get ready for dinner right now i was just binging love is blind on the couch and I can't believe, well, I don't want to spoil anything, so I won't say, but I'm just going to say there's not as many couples as the previous year, so that was interesting. I don't say anything because I don't want to spoil anything. I have a lot of thoughts and opinions. 
Maybe we'll do that later when more people have watched because I know it's just like just now coming out. I'm gonna use my trusty Hourglass foundation. This one is so good and I like to wear it whenever I'm going a little more full coverage and I'm going more full coverage because whenever I go out at night, it's just like so dark. It's kind of fun to amp it up a little bit, the makeup, because girl, there's gonna be no lighting instead of bad lighting. And I'd rather have no lighting than bad lighting. So in a lot of the restaurants in LA, one thing I love about them is they're pretty dark at night. Some people don't like that, but I don't mind it. You know, I'm like a creature of the night. I forget where we're going tonight. I don't. I know I've never been there, so I don't even know. Look at me looking crazy. I don't even know. What's the tea? My friend's gonna meet me over here. I was supposed to do my eyebrows first. I always forget. This has been one of my favorite uh, brow products. It's sold out right now, but I think Kristen's bringing it back. The Dominique Brow Wax. It's really good. I like to brush it through my brows like this and then um, press them down. Press those brows down like that. I like to do this before, my, look I'm missing it now, but I like to do this before my foundation because it does tend to like all the different brow waxes and brow freezes, the foundation does not like to like stick into them. So you end up with a mess on your hands. Move on to concealer. They just texted. I love going out. I love going out in your thirties because everybody's so responsible. It's like texting the group chat, like there's the reservation. Here's the time, here's the address. I went out a lot in my early 20s and honey, it was like half the people didn't show up. You just willy nilly everything and you just got there and it was like, you don't even know half the people and everything changes. I don't know, it's like a mess. It was like a mess in my 20s and my 30s. Everything is so on par, which is very good for me because like I'm a Virgo, so I like that. I, li I like the structure to things. One thing about me though, I'm not much of a planner. Ooh! she has a bright under eye so glad you guys are here for me to talk to because i mean i've been hanging out listen but ty's been gone and i'm used to just jabbering his head off and i've been here by myself so i've been talking to my cats and now i'm here to talk to which is low-key me carrying a conversation on with myself but i am talking to you guys i talk to you guys all the time so all my friends that use this concealer tell me that they put another concealer on top of this one so i've done that a few times and i've liked it i feel like i'm gonna do it tonight with the mario like they put a liquid on top of it for double coverage and i'm like wow it's a lot but you know what, I bet it's really pretty. I mean, I've done this before, it's just been a minute since I've done this, so I don't really remember the outcome. <laughs> Did I like it? Did I not? I always love a little extra coverage in the under eye. Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. I'm using this in the shade medium number two. This is a cream bronzer, even though it kind of looks like a powder. Really warm cream bronzer too, so I love the way it looks on. I feel like JLo would like this one. Someone tell JLo to get this bronzer. JLo loves a warm glow. You know what I was thinking would be a vibe? So I might go to the beach out tomorrow. I don't know, tomorrow's Sunday. It's like a day of chilling out, but I might go to the beach, but I don't feel like that. I'll just definitely do like a hot power fusion or a sculpt workout. I can't decide. I might do both. And then I really wanted to clean out some spaces in my closet, and I was thinking it would be such a vibe to like play the rest of Love is Blind on my laptop in there and like work on that tomorrow, but I don't know. I just like to wait and see what I'm in the mood for because sometimes I'm like, yes, let's do all the things. And then sometimes I'm like, no girl, I'm just gonna sit here on this couch and live a little, and live a little. It's so important to set your eyelids because if you put concealer on them like I do, honey, they will crease. So we have a special guest coming on full coverage. The, it'll, the, the episode, well, no, this vlog will go up for the episode. Interesting, he's like a reality TV star thing. We're trying to get a little more into reality TV stars, but it's so interesting on full coverage. Like you have to like, reality stars like to do press whenever they have a TV show come out. So you kind of go by that, like what reality TV shows are coming out. We just had Harry Jowsey on recently. We have another reality TV star coming. We have a few more that we want. I know this is my own blush palette, so I am biased, <laughs> but I just love this blush palette. Like these blushes, do it for me and they've been doing it for me for a minute now and i feel like some blushes like my skin like eats or something like i feel like some blushes just like don't show up on my skin or i feel like after time they're like so faded but these like last and like show up and i feel like that's like i guess my issue with blush like some brands i don't know what it is but it's kind of like the powder my skin just eats it or something but i'll look in the mirror and i'll be like where is my blush i, I think i did a Pilates class like a really long time ago i don't really know 
And my friend asked me to do one with her this week. And I'm so down, but I was like, ugh, I haven't done it in a long time. So basically I'm like, I'm gonna be shitty. Like I'm not gonna be good. Which I surprise myself sometimes because I've been working out so consistently this year. I have a lot of stamina to do, way more than I've ever done. I'm in the, probably the best shape of my life, to be honest with you. The consistency in my workouts this year, which I'm just so proud of myself for sticking through. And now it's like a part of my lifestyle and I love it and I don't even wanna live without it. I, and I'm so happy like finally make that breakthrough for myself because I've always struggled like being consistent and like I finally have found something that works for me and the way I found that is by trying something new so I feel like you never know what's going to work for you or it's going to click if you don't continue to try I'm proud of myself for putting myself out there this year my new year's resolution was to try some new workout classes this will be my third new like workout adventure this year so I got into hot power fusion which is hot yoga then I've gotten into sculpt which is a, like a hot berries boot camp like hit workout in a way I've been stuck staggering out sculpt in hot power fusion now i'm gonna try to do this pilates class and like if i don't like it that's fine i'll move on and do something else but like the point is i'm just you know i'm trying i'm just trying what am i gonna use this is a very cool tone palette from natasha i've never used it and i realized that the other day so i put it in my cabinet up here because i was like i need to get into this palette what am i waiting on maybe i'll use mesh that's like a taupe i would call that a taupe color i don't normally do cool tones but i actually think they do look really pretty on me like i like cool tones on myself so i feel like this palette is inspiring me but anywho i recommend just like trying anything and everything and if you don't like it then just try something else until you figure out what works for you with workouts i just did this super matte like gray smoky eye we're gonna do some black liner to go with our cool tone eye we were gonna do black liner anyways because i'm obsessed with like eyeliner Y'all, I just smoked my eyes out and haven't done that in so long I don't even recognize myself. This is a video of Laura Lee doing a cartwheel in heels. Yes. Oh. That's a 10, that's a 10 for me. It's given 10. Yep, that was it. What you got? Can you actually do it? Yes, she can. Give it to us. Oh, oh yeah, let's get sickening. That was it. Hello vlog fam. I'm headed to a birthday party for Desi's son, Ocean. It's a, you know, Marvel, I think like superhero theme party. Um, and I got this really cute, it's like a villain's website. I don't know, I Googled Spider-Man tea and this one popped up. I was like, oh, that's so cute. So Manny's gonna meet me over here and me, Manny and Ty are gonna do that. And then tonight we're gonna come home and go to the movie in the cemetery. We do that every year. It's like in the famous Hollywood cemetery here. We're gonna see Harry Potter tonight. I'm so excited. This is why I love fall time because of all the festivities we do this every year. So I'm gonna take you to a little bit of both. But yeah, we have a busy Saturday. We're watching Alabama get their butt kicked by Tennessee currently. I just finished getting ready for the party. I'm wearing these boots as well. I thought they would be festive for a kid's party. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Can we get it? Look at all the people who are 
the graveyard to see the movie. just spent the whole entire day editing this vlog and I'm about to upload it right now for you but I forgot to mention <laughs> if you're still here we have a launch at minimum coming on Friday and I would love for you guys to check it out we have a bunch of new custom minimum basics that we created sizes small through 3x dropping as well as a ton of new cute clothing I would love for you guys to check it out check it out check it out check it out I love you guys bye guys